Hello and welcome to Kangtai News of Kangtai Radio and Television Station. Here are the headlines. Kangtai City held its fourth Congress of Ethnic Minorities at the City Party Committee Hall. Kangtai City's Department of Labor, War, Invalids and Social Affairs held a meeting to mark the 79th anniversary of that sector's traditional day. The Department of Education and Training of Gangta City recently set guidelines for managing tuition and fees for public schools in the 2024-2025 school year. Top news today. On the morning of August 29, the Fourth Congress of Ethnic Minorities of Gangta City in 2024 was held at the Gangta City Party Committee Hall. Over the past five years, the cities have focused on implementing the party's guidelines and state policies to support ethnic minorities in economic development, improve living standards and preserve cultural identity. This has led to significant improvements in their material and spiritual lives. Around 200 poor ethnic minority households receive housing support, and nearly 3,000 households and students in need were granted loans, totaling nearly 80 billion Vietnamese stone. The number of well-off households has increased, while the poverty rate among ethnic minorities has decreased, with only 54 poor households remaining, a reduction of 132 since 2020. On this occasion, the Ethic Committee awarded commemorative medals for contributions to ethnic development to five individuals and certificates of merit to one collective. Additionally, the chairman of the city's People Committee presented certificates of merit to nine collectives and 22 individuals for their outstanding achievements in the patriotic evolution movement, building the Great National Unity Plot and contributing to the cause of building and defending the socialist Vietnamese fatherland. On August 28 afternoon, the Department of Labor, War Invalids and Social Affairs in Gangta City hosted a meeting to commemorate the 79th anniversary of the traditional day of the Labor, War Invalids and Social Affairs sector, August 28. At the meeting, delegates enjoyed performances celebrating the homeland and country, a fashion show showcasing the Vietnamese Ao Yai, and video clips highlighting the activities and traditions of the Department of Labor, War Invalids and Social Affairs of Gangda City. On this occasion, the department was awarded the emulation flag by the Ministry of Labor, War Invalids and Social Affairs for its outstanding achievements in fulfilling its task in leading the emulation movements in 2023. Additionally, 80s individuals received the For the Cause of Labor, War Invalids and Social Affairs Medal. The department also presented awards in the Art Performance Contest celebrating the 79th anniversary of the traditional day including one first prize, one second prize, one third prize, three consolation prizes, one special prize, and two awards for the best performance. On the morning of August 29, the City People's Committee convened a meeting of Gangda City's Civil Judgment Enforcement Steering Committee for 2024. The meeting was chaired by Mr. Wing of Hare, Vice Chairman of Gangda City People's Committee and Head of the City Civil Judgment Enforcement Steering Committee. In the past 10 years, Gunther City Civil Judgment Enforcement Department handled over 17,000 cases, 200 fewer than last year. Of these, more than 16,800 were scheduled for enforcement, with over 6,900 successfully enforced, a drop of 348 cases from the previous year. Unresolved cases were locked for future action. The City Civil Judgment Enforcement Steering Committee advised the chairman on meeting enforcement targets and handling major cases, and discussed solutions for complex cases. Mr. Nguyen Ngoc Hare urged the committee to effectively implement directive from the central government and local authorities. He emphasized increasing enforcement targets, improving coordination on complex cases, and enhancing the quality of advice and adherence to Joint Circular Number 5 to achieve better results in civil judgment enforcement. On August 28 afternoon, leaders from the Department of Industry and Trade of Gunter City, in collaboration with the Market Management Department, conducted a working session at the Mekong Petroleum Depot, which is part of the Mekong Petroleum Joint Stock Company, PV Oil Mekong. A PV Oil Mekong representative reported that in the first eight months of 2024, 
the gas station and distribution system consume an average of 32,672 cubic meter, contributing 135 billion Vietnamese dong to the state budget. The company operates 10 gas station, a 72,000 cubic meter warehouse in Cần Thơ, and satellite warehouses in Vinh Long and Sóc Trăng, ensuring uninterrupted supply. Mr. Hà Vũ Sơn, director of the Department of Industry and Trade of Cần Thơ City, commended the company's business activities and its proactive approach to supply management. Recognizing the challenges faced by the company, the Department of Industry and Trade committed to addressing these issues as swiftly as possible within its authority and will also submit a report to the city's People Committee to seek further solutions for the company's difficulties. Following the Drug Administration Department's announcement about counterfeit drug Serifim's 200mg and Severoxim 500mg circulating in the market, the Department of Health of Gangta City formed a surprise inspection team on August 28 to check several pharmaceutical businesses in the city. At Ankai Gangta Pharmacy No. 4, Pharmacy T Pharmacy No. 217, and Dumsung Pharmacy 157, the inspection team confirmed that Un had the necessary certifications and so suffered some 200 mg, but not from Golong Pharmaceutical Choice Stock Company, as flagged by the Truck Administration. A sample of Sephirosin 500 mg was taken from Pharmacy T Pharmacy No. 217 for quality testing. The inspection team observed that pharmaceutical establishments in Gunther regularly update drug quality information on the electronic portals of the Gunther Department of Health and the Ministry of Health and maintain compliance with GPP standards. The Department of Education and Training of Gunther City recently provided guidelines for collecting and managing tuition and other fees for public education institutions in the city at the start of the 2024-2025 school year. This school year's minimum tuition fee is 32,000 Vietnamese dong per month. Specifically, in urban districts, the tuition fee is set at 71,000 Vietnamese dong per month for preschool, 65,000 per month for junior high school, and 75,000 per month for high school students. In rural districts, the fees are 32,000 Vietnamese dong for preschool, 33,000 for junior high school, and 43,000 for high school students. The city exams tuition for five-year-old children under Clause 6, Article 15 of Government Decree No. 81, 2021. Primary school students are exempt from tuition fees as per Clause 1, Article 14 of the same decree. The Department of Education and Training also provided detailed guidelines on the collection and management of other fees, as well as on sponsorship, voluntary contributions, and the operation of the Parents' Representative Board. On August 29 morning, the Party Committee of Gangda City Political School held the second thematic meeting of 2024 under the theme, Faithful Under the Party's Glorious Flag, Catries and Party Members Committed to Building a Beautiful, Progressive and Happy Vietnamese Society. Before the seminar began, the party members and cadres of the political school observed a moment of silence to honor the late General Secretary Nguyễn Phú Trọng, a loyal and wise leader of the Vietnamese people. During the second seminar, on party members in the party committee, including those from the temporary branches of the 35th and 36th Intermediate Political Theory classes, engaged with the core ideas of Ho Chi Minh's thought on building an increasingly beautiful, progressive, and happy Vietnamese society. They also watched the documentary President Ho Chi Minh and the Concept of Happiness and were introduced to the work of General Secretary Nguyễn Phú Trọng, titled Proud and Confident Under the Glorious Flag of the party determined to build a richer, more civilized, culture, and heroic Vietnam. Recently, Vietnam tourism has been making headlines for being one of the safest destinations globally. The international organization Best Diplomats, which specializes in diplomatic training, has just listed the 10 safest destinations in Asia, placing Vietnam in the 8th position. The list is based on three criteria low crime rates, political stability, and a safe living environment. In January 2024, Travel Off Path, 
a major North American travel site named Vietnam is one of the safest and most attractive tourist destinations in Asia. Additionally, Vietnam is the only Southeast Asian country featured on Time Out magazine's list of the nine safest destinations in the world for female solo travelers. According to the General Department of Tourism, international arrivals to Vietnam in the first seven months of 2024 totaled nearly 10 million, marking a 51% increase from the same period in 2023 and achieving a 94.1% recovery rate compared to 2019. Coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.